on, guys? It is Larry M.F. White, and I could not be more thrilled to be here with my main man, Mark Patterson. What's up, brother? How you doing? That's uh, probably the best introduction I've ever had. I'm doing Dude, great. I am so excited. One, we're doing so much together, like across the country right now, which I'm so I'm always excited to see your face. And, and, and work on, on more projects and stuff with you. But I'm even more excited to host this interview, right? Because as I look back at your production, and we've known each other right through the Tom Ferry ecosystem, seeing you rise up there through coaching and training, through helping expand teams, et cetera. But think about this, guys. For those of you guys that are watching, like you want credibility, like why should I listen to the next five or six minutes with Larry and Mark? So in 2018... The Porchlight Realty Group, the Porchlight Realty team, you guys did what, about $65 million or so in production? Yes, 65 in uh, 2018 for the whole year. So then you made some transitions, and we're going to talk about these transitions for the next year in 2019 to start prepping. Tell the crowd, how much did you produce in January of 2021? Uh, $65 million in January alone. <laughs> yeah two if years my numbers, if my numbers are correct i still am second guessing myself but no it is it's 65 million dude congratulations and and the amount of business that your team's growing and doing things is absolutely amazing so what i wanted to talk to you about today right because i mean we we see these names the kyle whistles the daniel beers right like these huge names that are kind of migrating over to this EXP platform. And I get calls every day like, what's this about? Is it real? Is it that? Now, somebody like yourself, $65 million in production is more than most brokerages do, right? And you were doing this as a group or team. There yeah. was literally people that were willing to cut you very large checks to be like, hey, come join our brokerage, come join our team. We'll cut you this check. We'll give you admin. We'll do that. Like the red carpet was being rolled out to you, right? Yeah. We had a lot of options when we were looking at brokerages. Um, so it was interesting to see what was, what was possible. Absolutely. And yet you chose to kind of migrate over to EXP. So I want to take a few minutes. Dude, what the hell were you thinking? Why was this a good decision for you, your group, your team in order to kind, kind of move forward? And let's just focus on the top three reasons because I know there's probably a laundry list. What was the number one thing that, that, that really brought you over here to EXP? Truly brokerage to brokerage, any company you're at, in my opinion, they're the exact same. The mm -hmm. only reason why EXP is different is the collaboration of the agents. And when you join a group, you truly get their playbook. So that's the number one reason why I joined was collaboration with other top agents. Yeah. And that's what I aligned myself with at eXp was like, let's get together with people who know what they're talking about to run a team. Because yeah. truly no broker really understands how to run a team. They understand contracts, which is great. You want that on your side. Sure. But the team aspect, no team leader is going to share with you their entire playbook, but at eXp they do. Yeah, it's probably one of the most collaborative approaches to real estate I've ever seen. And I mean, we've talked like, man, let's go out to the ranch in Fredericksburg. Let's go to this place. Like, let's host a mastermind group with some of these top producing agents in the country and the world even. And let's like lay it out. Right. And I, and I haven't seen that collaboration anywhere else. So I would second that. Today, I'm going to the mountains actually with two other team leaders that are uh, both in EXP. And basically, we're just going to lay out. We're going to go skiing. And we're going to go and just lay out our businesses and just basically share everything that we do to run our operations. Beautiful. That is a beautiful thing, my friend. There so what go. was the second reason? If that wasn't enough, right? Like what was the second reason? So you get to surround yourself with these icon agents, these mega influencers, people that have already went through this gamut in this road. What was the second reason? I think it was uh, the ability to scale and the fact that EXP taught me that we don't need a physical office. So as you know, EXP is a virtual company. Mm -hmm. uh, it also taught me that you don't necessarily have to have an office for every single person on your team and working from home or working from another office is okay. We still have our team office, but could I house all my agents in that one office space? No. Right. And I had this hindering belief that I had to have a desk for each agent. And EXP taught me the ability to scale is I don't need a desk for each agent. It can be a rotating desk platform we can figure it out and it's all online. So 
just being able to just super growth was uh, number two. So, so tell me, like, what has that growth looked like? When you joined EXP, what did your group and team look like? So we left our brokerage with 15 agents. All 15 came with us. Okay. Uh, every single person is still with us except for one uh, quit and moved into a van to go play music. So that's a win. Uh, I'm yes. <laughs> so, but besides him, uh, we're all still there. We're still at EXP. So truly it shows they're all happy. And uh -huh. we are now, I don't know my exact agent count, which is bad, but we're growing so quickly now. It's like, we've added probably 40 agents in the last 40 days. Wow. Just to our, to our team. People always ask me like downline or that stuff. Like I didn't join for that. Yeah. I didn't join for a downline. I didn't join for rev share or stock. I joined to build my team and to surround myself with good people. And so you've went from 15 agents to probably 65 to 80 agents in total pretty easily, I would say. I'm and at 60, I'm at 65, 66 agents. 66 agents in your, in your team at this point. So we've quadrupled the size of your team. What's the production look like? Uh, so most of them are within their first month of being licensed. So it okay. takes about two to three months, but I would say probably about 30 of my agents sold 65 million. And now you've also expanded from San Diego. How many states is Porch Light in? Uh, three. So we have, well, actually four. We have Florida, Texas, San Diego, well, all of Southern California, uh -huh. uh, Nevada, and Northern California as well. So despite my hat saying Phoenix, I'm not from Phoenix. I should turn it around. Uh, yeah. We are going to be expanding into Arizona as well. But so we're in four states, but based out of Southern California. Beautiful. So you've quadrupled the size, you've quadrupled the states. Production is just going bananas at this point in time. So like, okay, so I, I asked for three. So let's give them one more. If that wasn't enough here, what's the third one? So just the idea of EXP, it's different. I like different. And when I saw all the top players moving over, I did more research. You look into it, you have Blockbuster and you have Netflix. You have taxis and you have Uber. You have shopping at stores or clicking a button on Amazon. EXP is the new version of real estate. It's truly changing the industry. Brokerages need to figure something out because even this week, I have a Berkshire Hathaway team that's switching. Uh, I have Remax team switching. And it's not that there's anything wrong with Berkshire Hathaway or Remax no. or any brokers. They're amazing. It's just that they don't have the collaboration because there's no incentive to help out. So right. EXP is basically my third reason is it's, it's the new, it's the Netflix of, of real estate. So for those people that are watching, are you still looking to grow? Have you hit your peak? Are you capped out at this point? If people are like, damn, that was pretty cool. How do I get more involved? What, what would you tell them? I would say just, you know, don't be scared of the change and it's not trying to be cocky, but I feel like everyone's going to switch to EXP at some point or another because it's something where once you see it, you can't unsee it is what yeah. some of my, my people in my group say. And another thing is, is the naysayers or anyone that talks about something, people are always going to dog something that's different. Sure. So if you're at a brokerage, like truly look at who is at this company there are some heavy hitters and who cares about, like I said, the rev share, the stock it's production. Like I'm yeah. doing 65 million in January. Tell me who at your company is doing that. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of better people than me. That's sure. why I'm always, but the groups that we're at at EXP, there's a lot of people doing that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So guys, here's the thing. Like if this conversation interested you at all, like literally the four states that Porch Light is in and where we're growing to is just the tip of the iceberg, right? When we start uh, continuing to expand and daily mastermind groups. So if this interests you at all, like, Mark will be tagged in this. Make sure that you reach out to Mark. Make sure you reach out to myself. And even if you just want to see what's on the other side, what's under the hood, what are the opportunities? Are there room for growth to open up teams and, and groups and kind of expand and do things similar to what Mark and I are helping people do? We're all in. And I'm speaking for you there because I know that uh, you will continue to grow, my friend. For sure. There's no all other right, way. All right, guys. We, we love you. We thank you. And we will talk to you on the other side.